Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this video about to be special. This video about to be something different. This right here, Pentatonics, right? Boom, Lion King, Pentatonics, Lion King. Can you feel the love tonight? To me, that's the number two. That's the number two best song on Lion King with number one being Circle of Life. I don't know what it is about. Mm -hmm. I just know Elton John got in this bag, especially I like for some reason the way I think what makes it my favorite is the way Elton John sings it. Not the way it's saying. I mean, the way it's saying in the Lion King is cool too. It's a it's a great it's a great way to sing it. But the way it's saying it, like uh, the way Elton John sang it, yeah, I don't know what it is about the way he sings it. I think it's at the end when he go yeah. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to tell completely off topic. Pentatonics, can you feel the love tonight? With no further ado, we're gonna get into the video. Let's go. There's a calm surrender. He can be turned away. Hey, that harmony is something crazy. And the thing that I like about it is, I'm maybe it's just me personally, but I'm at the point now that I don't heard Pentatonics a good bit of times where I can now kind of just, I can't hear Kevin. I don't know why. I can never hear Kevin, but I can kind of decipher the harmony. You know what I'm saying? I can decipher, okay, that's Mitch right there. I still don't know um, the woman's name. And I don't know his name either. I know Avi, but I don't know his name, but yeah. I can decipher, you know what I'm saying? I heard him do the lead up and then I heard boom. I heard everybody else come in, but anyway, that's my choice. An enchanted moment, and it's enough for this process for you. Can you feel the love? Whoa. So is it fair to say that the two background people are the most versatile people in a way? Because I, I guess like the I, the two background people to me is Kevin and the bass, whoever the bass is, Avi or this guy. From what I've seen, they don't get, I mean, they get some camera time, but they don't get as much of the shine, the solos. I don't ever really see them singing like that. So like, but the thing is they can beatbox. They can also sing and they can go below with bass. Now I know Scott helps out with that too sometimes, but is it fair to say that the two background people are the most versatile? That just popped in my head, but anyway. It is where we are for this wild this fire. Hey, that boy, that's one thing you can say about Scott. That boy Scott has some stage, not stage, camera presence. Not saying that everybody else is just in there being a stick figure, being boring, but I don't know. The, like, like this, this part right here. Yeah, right here. He's just selling it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that boy Mitch has some vocals to be able to just go that high i don't know i guess like if you i don't know if he naturally has a high voice but then prince didn't have a natural high voice too and prince could go prince could get up to that so i don't know how it worked but anyway i just i just think to be able to just do that and just do it with so little ease like i was saying in one of my previous videos no veins no nothing pops up in the neck it's just simple it's easy for him speed up y'all honestly i don't know how i'm feeling about the speeding up the tempo i don't know if they should have kept that a little bit slower maybe just because like i like the way elton john sang it but uh, i don't know i don't know i don't know i could be i could be early but ah. there's a rhyme and reason just start crushed voyager beats and time with yours 
Hey, when did he start singing? See, that's all I'm saying, Mitch. I thought that was her. I thought, was it she just singing? I thought that was her. That's what I'm saying. Effortless falsetto, because I could have sworn she was singing. When did he start singing? the harmony I like the harmony but I don't know I feel like at, at so far I would have had it different I would have had I think I would have kept it slow and I would have had um Scott continue to lead nothing but I like their version too I like their version too I'm just comparing it to my favorite version, which is the uh, Elton John version. So, I'm just comparing it, but, hmm. Hmm. Hey, that was bitchy stuff. <laughs> but, one thing I will say about Pentatonix is they're very creative in how they do these covers of these songs. It's not going to be set up the exact same way. That's what I will say. Like, that was creative. I didn't see that spark coming. The uh, harmonizing. What are they saying? I don't even know what they're saying. But whatever they harmonize it, I didn't see it coming. Decisions, decisions. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Hmm. That's tough, Maje. That's tough. I like how they executed that. I really like how they executed that. All right. You gotta keep that in consideration. Hey, hey, don't don't get me wrong, because I said I have I would have Scott lead, leading um early in the song. Don't get me wrong, she's singing though. She's singing, she's letting it lose. She is she can for sure sing. And she and she's doing a marvelous job. Okay, Mitch. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. Okay, Mitch. Okay. Um, wasn't a huge fan of like that little. What, what was it like? Is this part? Let me see. It's right here. Yeah, that little break. Uh, I wasn't a fan of that too much. But Mitch? That's tough, Mitch. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. Superman S girl, Big Scott, what the hell? Okay. Okay. I see y'all just full of surprises tonight. That's cool. That's cool. I like this version. I like this version. Please don't get me wrong. I really like this version. Okay, if this part does what I think it does, which is give everybody a solo part, I guess, while they sing this in, that'll be tough. Because at first I thought, like, they should end it with a solo from Scott, like, closing it out. But I don't know. I kind of like this version, too. If it does what I think it's doing. Okay. 
Because you've done three people, so you can't stop now, I feel like. Tonight, tonight. Mm -hmm. With all this living yeah, okay. That was a great ending. That was a... Actually, I like the way they sang that. I like the way they sang that. I'm just saying that it doesn't take my number one spot from Elton. Maybe it's because of nostalgia. It could be I'm very biased. I grew up with the Elton John version because I had the CD and it had the little special feature. You feel me? And then you get to see the uh, the Disney version with Raven Simone and them singing uh, a Lion King song. It's like Elton John in a black and white music video. And that version, whatever that version is, this has always been my favorite version since I was a little kid. So I could be biased, but Pitchatonics, y'all did y'all thing like usual. Full of surprises. I didn't a lot I did not see a lot of stuff coming, honestly. I didn't think like most of the stuff that they did that I didn't see it coming. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Um the only part that I was kinda like, ah, was that middle part when they kind of initially sped it up? I just feel like I would have kept the whole song slow, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, besides that, yeah. Pitcher Thomas, what you expect? You feel me? You knew what they was gonna do. Anyway, that's gonna be it for my reaction, y'all. It's late, guess what? It's 1.40, it's 1.40 in the morning. Yeah, I'm about to lay it down. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. I'm out.